Lighting. Uh, or, oh, oh you didn't need that. You, yeah. Okay. The light will take that. Um, yeah. Cool. And uh, you, you get the dark farm slot. So, uh, yeah, here we are uh, playing Blackbird as it actually goes. Let's go straight at the bad thing. Your rhythm goes one, two, and three, and one, two, and three, and one, two, and three, and we're at the wall. Versus. That's on your video from before, so I'm not going to go that much into it, but what you need to do right now is just like in your lesson, unless you got time to practice right after your lesson, in which case you may have retained this already, but just pick whatever chord and just do it once until it becomes easy, do it twice until it becomes easy, and then loop it. This is the thing that took um, two and a half minutes during the lesson when I went upstairs, um, you know, anyway. And there's, you know, we're playing G. You could totally just do that if you want. Next time, one, two, and three, and four, one, two, three, and four. And there's this. So that went C one. A couple other sections in the song, it just picks up on 87. And that's gonna happen in the bridge, too. Um, I don't know, you, you got the one from last time. You could theoretically just be working with that, it would be saying the same shit to you. So we're at two minutes in starting the bridge. Um, F, E minor, D minor, C, B. These are all the same two shapes the two frets of part one, which is major, and the one fret of part one. Which is minor, you know, playing F major, E minor, that's the way we're going. There's the first time through, dissect that, but in the second time through, it's the same. So many other things in the song goes to the A7, A minor 7, G, and you're back to the top. So that was just. This cool thing happens where it's a chromatic line, which means just one fret at a time, which is kind of tough to work in. It sounds all like you're just going on the piano. But so we get that during this um, 